before themselves disintegrating with World Allure of the Heartbreakers. This is Johnny. Welcome to So It Goes. How do you like the chairs? Very uh, comfortable. Comfortable. Do you mind if I first talk about a little bit about the past, about the dolls which you were in, Johnny? You were, however, when you were in the dolls, managed by Malcolm McLaren, who now is Malcolm, known, yeah. Who now is known to manage the Sex Pistols, and I've longed to ask someone what's it like to be managed by Malcolm. Well, Malcolm, he's a really, he's a really cool guy. He learned everything he knew from us, from the New York Dolls, and just commercialized it. <laughs> the genius. What did you learn from him? What I learned from him? <laughs> what did you learn from him? A hard question. Come on. Uh, I learned what it was like to be a, a nice gay individual. Do you miss not? Do you miss not looking like a lesbian? Looking like a lesbian? Who thought I looked like you a lesbian? You used to look like a lesbian. I promise you. I've seen your pictures. My mother never thought that. Oh, you're <laughs> All right. But well, listen. Let's let's get on to the fact that you played high energy music. I mean, we mentioned that that you kept that alive. New York Dolls, one of the people. Where did you get that high energy idea from? Well, guys like Iggy Pop, um, MC5, Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent. You've got, you got a long list of influence. Let's go over and ask Walter. What about you? Where did you get it from? Yeah, from the same thing, sort of. Um, you got it from the 60s me. and the 50s. You go back to the 50s? Well, yeah. I, I heard records when I was a little kid and stuff like that, and it stuck in my mind. <laughs> Fat time and all. And in, England, in, England, in England, bands like this are meant to be young. I take it, Walter, you're not that young. Uh, I'm really very young, actually, but. Uh, young at heart. You see, all the bands in New York are a lot older than the bands in England anyway. All right, that, that's the real question I want to come to. You come from New York, you were doing things with the New York Dolls a few years ago, which now are all the rage in England, and yet America, it's still a very big minority, a small minority cult. Why is America lagging so far behind? Well, the Ameri America? Americans, they're all they're too, too fat. fat on the hog, you know? They got it too easy. Ex explain, what do you mean? Well, you know, they got it too easy. They don't got to do too much for money. They're, uh... Their chemicals are very uh, easy gotten. So, do you think is that, you, that the kind of music is ever going to make it big in the States, this kind of music? Well, they're all poets, you know. They all think they are uh, Bob Millen and uh, Rita Coolidge and whoever well, else. Sooner or later, it'll, it'll come up, but it's just, uh, you know, it takes so long. That's why it's a bigger, bigger place and everything. People got thicker heads, it takes a little time to get through to them. All right, very briefly, just, t just tell me, finally, you got a new single out, One Track Minds. What's it about? All right. Drugs and sex. <laughs> we have a song over here, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. You yeah, don't bother with the rock. We don't, we don't talk about, about rock, rock and roll. It's uh, very natural to us. Yeah, you guys, well, by drugs, I'm not going to ask you what, but I mean, I know your drummer drinks, which I find shocking. Yeah, yeah I find that shocking myself. All right, listen, uh, Walter and uh, Johnny, thank you very much. Ciao, man. I'm from the Heartbreakers who specialize in terminal indifference to a band who specializes in cleanliness.